Is this what I think it is? No way, right? So... Let me get this straight. This girl goes and she gets accused of faking a blindfolded run. And everybody on the internet does like a fucking like thorough investigation. It's like if you want to see a real investigation, claim that you did something in a video game that didn't actually happen. And you're going to get people that put more work into that than their entire time at college. So we have uh, Queen Ponzalot made a video. This is maybe two months ago, two weeks ago, excuse me, about killing Altrion, who's like one of the hardest bosses in Monster Hunter with a blindfold on. People pretty much called it into question and I was under the impression that, uh, do I still have the video about this? I, I don't still have the picture of it, but um, I thought that whenever I originally looked at this, that she had like partial vision and not completely removed vision. So she's made a video responding to these accusations that have been put forward because a lot of people were mad at me for watching the video. They said, I shame on you, Asmongold, for watching this video with this fucking liar. You knew it was fake because women don't play video games. I bet that one's from my fucking so uh, that one's from my video, isn't it? No lock 93. Wow. Well, maybe she faked the comments too, guys. Oh boy, look at this. She's about to lose her sponsors on this lie. I love how this person thinks that sponsors care about... So, uh, you have to understand that, like, so in this video game, uh, so there is this dragon, right? And he's, like, really fucking hard. And, uh, pretty much, like, so she said that she beat the dragon, but, like, I don't think that she really did. And, like, if she did, because, like, she did it blindfolded, but, like, uh, there was this other video that said that she didn't do it. And, like, then, uh, fucking... So, like, I think that, like, she faked the run and she didn't really kill this dragon. And they're like, okay, so... And this... Like, can you imagine, like, being the social media manager having to deal with this? You really think the sponsor, sponsor is gonna give a fuck about this? <laughs> oh, people get real mad. Hey everybody, I'm Compones a lot, and there has certainly been a lot of people talking about my previous uh -oh. video where uh -oh. I posted what I've come to learn was the first ever recorded blindfolded run of Alatrion. What began as a fun experiment shared live on my Twitch stream as a yeah. unique and interesting challenge quickly erupted into something bigger than I would have ever imagined. I bet, I bet this is real. I do, I bet this is fucking, this is crazy. At first... The world first run was met with praise and brought monster hunters together. And look who it is. However, after that video made by Asmongold, there were uh -oh. multiple points of contention about the legitimacy of the run, and several notable streamers and content creators have been called into question. They sure have, including Asmongold himself. Ooh. It's not a blindfolded run; it's like a vision impairment run. Yeah. The original video made by Juicy noted several points. About Which, by the way, is a very fair assumption to make. This is a very fair assumption to make. ...video that questioned its validity, with expert commentary from the notable blindfolded runner, Bubsia. Yeah. The community quickly became divided, and I felt the wrath of many disparaging remarks, constant unhealthy criticism, and slanderous malice without even being given an opportunity to prove that my run was indeed legitimate and reproducible. And I said before that I hoped that she comes back with a 30 minute video of her doing it again. Do you remember in the second video where I said that I hoped that that happened? Teleprompter, uh, scripted? Yeah, yeah, she probably wrote out a response that way. You know, it's like something like this. I mean, you know, she's got like what, 700 subscribers? Like people like this aren't used to this level of attention, right? So yeah, it's probably a stressful thing for her. Like a lot of people write out a script. Like most people, um. Like, Bellior uses a script for a lot of his videos, or at least I know that he used to. I used to have note points for a lot of my videos, too. Reading it off of a script isn't doesn't make it fake. Like, most people aren't experienced public speakers that can just talk about something for 30 minutes and be coherent about it.
That's a really hard thing to do. And this fraudulent imitation, quite frankly, disgusts me. While I openly welcome skepticism and fair criticism, mm -hmm. I've been met with continuous hatred, vitriol, and constant questioning of my character and my prowess as a monster hunter. This video is a response oh, to I those questions did. and comments and seek to prove that not only is my original run legitimate, but that I can indeed replicate it. Oh my god. I, I hope that she comes back and she says, I did do a blindfolded, here's me doing it again. I hope that's what happens. First and foremost, We got the good ending, boys. We got it. I've played Monster Hunter World consistently for thousands of hours with some of the best and most reputable hunters in the game, though I am no mm -hmm. expert blindfold runner. I've never claimed to be a professional blindfold runner, and the video was not made to be a standardized blindfold submission. So I contacted Mitras, a world record Sekiro blindfolded speedrunner for my uh -huh. own expert consultation. After some discussion with him and recommendations, that's me, not you. Sorry about that. Forward-facing camera showing my hands and monitor, covered my other monitors completely, installed keyboard inputs into my stream, kept my eye tracker on, and purchased a standardized blindfold. Oh used my by God! Numerous other official blindfolded runners. In response to all of the criticism I've received, I recorded an updated live run in its unedited and unadulterated form. I've also so she's showing the light through it to show that no light gets through it at all. That's now why she's doing to that. My original video and also want to share my final thoughts. But we'll have to wait and see, right? We'll just have to wait and see. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, and she did it without the hunting horn guy. She's not going to show her hands. It has uh it has her hands right there and it has the keyboard inputs right there. Damn, bro, she's farming him. Holy shit. Someone's talking to her in a headset? True, brother. True. Ooh. Bro, I can barely do that without the blindfold. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, that's... I'm gonna have to do that myself. Is Discord screen share? You think that's it? What if there's a third monitor and she has eyes in the back of her head or something like that, like Bloodborne? True. She has like 99 insight. Ooh. It's an Apple Vision. Wait, wait, bro. Is she using an Apple Vision Pro so she can actually see more of it than a normal person? Oh my god, bro. That makes sense. I never even thought of that. Yeah, duh. Oh, she's trying to make those potions. Ooh, got his hand right there, too. This guy is such a dick sucker, man. Damn, damn! She got him right out the air! 
See, like, I could tell right there she was listening to see where his head was. Like, because if you had pretty good headphones, like, listen to how she does this. Yeah. The head movement's loud. It probably because he got the horns on. 2,000. Jesus, bro. Like, how's that horn not broken? Holy fuck. Ooh. Oh, she got the debuff again. He's gonna do that red thing. I bet you could probably do that to sound as well. Like if you if you were good at it. I feel like she takes less damage than I do on this fight. Probably because she has better gear. Oh. Oh. It's augmented gear? Yeah, I don't even know how to do that. Damn, bro, that shit heals you a lot. I was just paying attention to this. Like, what the fuck? Bro, I need to get that. So that's monster rank 100? Yeah, I need to get that 100%. I need to I need to just kill this guy, honestly. I can just get get him done. Am I going to have to like re-kill him for gear? Or is it like a one and done situation? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just do it. Grind it? No, it's fine. Gear isn't very good. I actually, I, as I said before, I really don't think this is a bad boss. Like that, that like fire attack and like the, um, like the effluvia attack. That he, oh, bro, this shit is so annoying. Um, his sword is good. I, I'm gonna get it. Like I, what I'm saying is like I would have no problem re-killing this boss. Like the only boss I never want to have to kill is Black Veil of Alhazik. And, uh, Kushal Adora. Those are, like, the infamous dick suckers in the game. This one's not so bad. Oh, now he's mad. She even turned off the music so she can hear audio signals better? Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, bro, like... This guy's just getting fucking wrecked. I need to get used to doing that myself. This is a fake blind run. Yeah, this is actually uh this is a second this is a second input on OBS. It's like a VOD. She just practiced uh hitting the keys. Like that keyboard's unplugged, bro. Or it's plugged into like another keyboard with like uh it's got nothing on it. Yeah. She's faking because uh I'll fuck that up even whenever I, uh... Ooh! See, that's what happens to me. Damn. Damn, that was fucking sharp. Damn, bro, he got fucked up. The dodges are crazy? Yeah, these dodges are clean as fuck, man. White fin fish. That was fast. God damn, it didn't even do anything. Why is there a screen like that? Probably because she's cheating. That's gotta be the reason why. Yeah, how could she see? With all that on the screen. I still don't believe it. Well, if you still don't believe it, like at this point, like I would be impressed if somebody could cheat it, right? Like if, if you could if you could make it this believable, 
Like that that's impressive like on its own. Maybe it's AI. This is, she got like a early beta test into that Sora stuff from OpenAI. And like she just made this with that. She's like, you know, make it look like I did a blindfolded Ultraon run. To own the incels. She's getting direct headshots, which is wild. Yeah, I know. Bro, that was so fucking perfect. Oh my god. Because you know, I bet she practiced this shit like a thousand fucking times. Or actually, like, I think that didn't the first video have her at like 4,000, like 200 kills? That's like 400 more kills in the last two weeks. Hmm. Well, I mean, just since the, uh, since the video came out, doing it blindfolded, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure she didn't do it blindfolded 4,000 times, is what I'm saying. She aims better than you with the blindfold? Yeah, I know that. I, uh... I know. Ooh. Why is she smirking like that? Because she knows she's cheating. And that everybody's gonna believe it, that's why. That's the real reason, man. You were right. You're so right. Oh my god. She's actually just fucking doing it. And I guess somehow there was like an audio cue, because I think he only does three head smashes whenever he's enraged. So like, she knows he's enraged. This an audio cue, you can tell how far she is from the mob. Yeah, true. Ooh. That's what I do a lot of. I think he does that electric shit three times when he's enraged too. Damn, bro, she just punched him in the head. Missed on purpose? Do you think she missed on purpose to make it more believable? It's the same as like whenever you copy somebody's math homework, you get a few wrong. Yeah, yeah, just like on purpose. Big true. I wonder how many attempts this took. Because I bet it probably took a while. Six? That's pretty fucking good. Jesus. Pre-recorded si footage sitting there with the blindfold? Well, then how you explain their hands? Is that also pre-recorded? They could, like, have, like, a... Oh, that's smart. Yeah, so, like, the footage is pre-recorded and the hands are pre-recorded, but... the This one up in the top isn't pre-recorded? That makes sense. They're all different videos, yeah. Honestly, like, if I found out that was true, I would actually be more impressed than if she killed the boss blindfolded. Like, that that would actually, like, I would rather that be the case because I just think that's funnier. Yeah, that would actually be somehow more impressive. And see, she listened to him whenever he went that, he, like, made that, uh, that rotation with, like, his body. So she knew where his head was. 
Ooh, 2,000 again. God damn, this bitch has got a lot of health. Jesus, I'm never gonna kill him. This is never gonna fucking happen, bro. Like, this is never gonna happen. 50k? Yeah, that's a lot. So she forgot where he was and she was like listening there. Oh, there it is. Get your healing items ready. Damn, she almost fucking died. Bro, like she she's using a lot of those white fin fish. God, I hope this is fake. This would be the most impressive fake I've probably ever seen. Like, Dream, if, if I find out this is fake, like, Dream probably should, like, keep this girl on retainer next time he wants to play Minecraft. Damn! He dead. This hunt will go down in history. He fucking dead. Holy shit. And, and how long did that take? That was like four. That was like a fourteen minute fight. Because it says like she began combat with him at like three thirty. This is seventeen thirty. This is four, fifteen minutes. God damn. And she did this shit live too. Bro, I'd be so. I would be so fucking afraid to do that. Mm. Somebody made a good point about her arms being stretched on the bottom camera, but not the top one. That's right. True. So true. You're right. True, brother. Damn. She didn't even scan him. That is insane. As I said, I, I really hope that, uh... I hope that this was what was gonna happen. Oh, she put, like, a blocker over the screen. We did it, guys. Damn. God damn. That is nuts. The most discussed part of the run claiming it to be fake is what happens when my friend disconnects from the hunt. Everyone says that this is an obvious giveaway. However, there is much more going on here in this exchange than meets the eye. Let's examine this side by side of the exact exchange and see what's different about the fight. The attack pattern is the same, and I know the way the monster is facing at this point because I can hear him. On the left, the disconnect prompt is obviously shown, whereas on the mm -hmm. right, I am free to move, dodge, and attack. The mouse movement in question is me trying to dodge and position myself to attack the monster as I'm trying to aim to hit his head after the claw attack. I then get hit by the horn sweep because I can't dodge and because the prompt is there. Everybody is claiming that I clicked the box to cancel the on-screen disconnect prompt. I can hear the fact that an error message has occurred from the bell sound that only plays during on-screen prompt. I'm also trying to dodge the head swipe with speed. Wait, is that true that there's like a sound that plays? Oh. I canceled the prompt. Then Why'd I nobody bring that up? Space bar. And Juicy in his video even comments to anyone who thinks she was pressing dodge to close the dialogue. 
She presses twice way too fast to register two dodges. Oh. This comment argues against itself by claiming that apparently I wasn't pressing spacebar to close the dialogue. Yet I was hitting the spacebar too fast to jump. Which one is it? The only way I could reliably cancel the prompt while blind was to spam the spacebar. Yeah. Since I could not see the prompt to close it. Which leads me to my last point. For those that are absolutely certain that I am clicking the dialogue box to close the disconnect prompt, in your claim of how this is so obvious, you missed one vital detail. My mouse cursor never enters the prompt to close it, and I can prove it. First, look closely that the mouse never actually enters the box. Still don't believe it? Watch what happens when I recreate it. Notice that my cursor becomes a hand icon, not an arrow. Watch this. She got a point. Man, she's got a fucking point there, doesn't she? Damn. Side by side comparison in slow motion. My mouse movement is to hit the monster, not close the box. Moving on, mm -hmm. Juicy's video questions the sincerity of my reaction to being disconnected, claiming that I'm only acting blind, and that I have a genuine moment of lapsed judgment where I forget I'm playing blind. While fighting Elatrion of all monsters, live in front of an audience, we suffer a mid-fight disconnect while blindfolded, all in the span of 20 seconds. How is any normal person supposed to react, other than confused or surprised? You can even see my heart rate spike in the middle of all of that happening. You really must think I delivered an Oscar-worthy performance during the run if you actually believe that I'm acting the entire time. Juicy's video claims that my eye tracker picked up my eyes during the hunt. If I truly could see through my blindfold, such that the eye tracker could register my eyes like it did apparently why would she be looking there? in that fraction of a second, why wouldn't it be tracking my eyes and show them the entire time? I think we can all agree that the appearance of this small blip of the eye tracker for a split second at a random time is a false positive. Yeah, I, I thought that too. I remember in the original video. Yeah, that's what I said too. Positive. It's like maybe, but probably not. Some argue that my movements or attacks are performed without audio cues. However, anyone who has fought a Latreon enough times knows that there are some movements and attack patterns in the fight that are a lot more subtle. One example of this is just prior to Elatrion's double head swipe where he stomps his feet. This has a very small visual cue, but an even more subtle audio cue, which if you listen closely enough is definitely there. If you haven't mastered the fight, you may not know about this subtle detail, but I do. Watch and you can both see and more important- She never addresses the points where she almost always hits the head, but in this new video, she rarely hits it. I feel like she hit the head of the boss a lot. Yeah, am I crazy? I feel like she hit him in the head a whole lot. Importantly, hear it. <laughs> After fighting the monster thousands of times, it truly does become second mm -hmm. nature. Just because you don't notice them or you don't understand them does not mean that I don't. Both Juicy and Bubsia suggest that my original run is fraudulent because I said that it took me several attempts to perform the blindfolded run. I knew that we would be trying it that day on stream and I had practiced this about a half a dozen times off stream in preparation for an on stream challenge with my friend as a duo. Again, this was never meant to be a speed run or an official blindfolded submission. This wasn't even supposed to be solo. We were practicing it as a duo because it was just supposed to be for fun on stream and his hunting horn was helping me locate the monster. I even kept my sound alerts on during my stream, which Juzi points out not as distractors from my concentration, but because this was supposed to be carefree live stream content, and I saw no reason to turn them off for a fun exercise. Furthermore, anyone doing blindfold runs will minimize any external sound sources that would interfere with the audio cues. This runner has follow alerts still on during her attempts. The hunting horn assistant would also be creating a lot of noise pollution, but I'll let that slide. However, just because I can do something faster than you can comprehend, it doesn't mean I can't do it. It just means that it takes someone else longer. My techniques for fighting the monster with sight still translate into how I fight it blindfolded, and I fought it the same way, 
every single time for thousands of repetitions. I mean, to be fair, like, she's done them a lot of times. I think people are dismissing and forgetting that I've spent more hours in-game killing this monster than some people have spent in the entire game. We aren't talking about a couple of hunts. That's or a couple true. hundred hunts. That's We're true. talking on an order of magnitude higher. Thousands of successful kills, not to mention all of the failed or incomplete runs that aren't counted. Mm -hmm. For anyone that doubts my ability to do this, why don't you kill something for almost 5,000 times and see how you do? I think you'd be surprised at how easy it is and how some experts, like Mitra's, with less Alatrion experience, have already tried and said that it is possible, even after a few tries. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then after this video came out, there were other people that did it blindfolded and tried themselves. So it's, it was provable that it could happen. moment where I run into a shard of ice, attempting to claim that I can see it. Oh, the yeah. Fight, the monster was claggered, and my only objective is to get straight to his head, which I can hear. With that same logic, if you assume I somehow am able to see the icicles, then how would you explain this clip where I run into one face first, run in place, and even slash through it? The icicle is silent, and it's literally in the middle of my screen. Icicle if is I silent. If I could see it, why would I run right into it and keep running into it? I even end up hitting it and not even the monster. Well, she was pretending then, and she forgot that she needed to pretend in the other circumstance. Obviously, right? Because it's silent, I don't see it charging up, and even as a master of this hunt, I still get hit by it. Or is it that I'm just acting? Clearly, even a beginner who could actually see this would not have made the same mistake. The same is true of this example. I made that, I made that mistake, to be fair. That takes up a large portion of my screen. And yet I have no idea it's there because it makes no sound. I do nothing to avoid it, continue my attack, and I get hit by it. Yep. Another main criticism of my blindfolded run is the fact that I adjust my camera to fight the monster without using lock-on. This is just how I fight it. All the time. Every time. Just because I put a blindfold on doesn't mean that that changes. Here I am doing the same thing on my updated run. Oh, got his ass. In fact, we can see some other examples from my original run that actually support that I am blind. Because I have a hard time turning and engaging the monster because I don't use lock on. Because I can't see or hear him well enough to engage him reliably. These are mistakes in the hunt that even beginners wouldn't make if I could see. In this clip, he is down and clearly vulnerable, yet not making much noise. So I have a hard time Ooh, locating him. I did that. In fact, I'm even facing away from him and not following up with attacks on a downed monster that is literally right next to me. Then the next and only moment I actually attack is the moment he roars again because I can clearly hear him. Yeah. She should just turn the chair around. That way nobody can say she's looking. You could just say she has a mirror on the other side of the room. You could you have this as another monitor connected. Like, that's the easiest thing. Like, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's probably the worst example you could use. In this clip, the monster isn't even on my screen. Any person, even a beginner, that could see that the monster isn't even on screen would instinctively turn to search for the monster. Yet I don't hear him or see him and stand in place trying to listen for him. It's at that last split second that I hear him gearing up for an ice attack and I turn towards him only to get hit right in the face as he is standing right behind me. I even get hit by the same ice attack. Once I get up, I have no idea where the monster is, but I can hear the lightning surges. I can't even tell what direction they're coming from, because at this sure. point they all sound the same. Listen very closely and you will have a hard time too.
I immediately start panic rolling, completely in the wrong direction, away from the monster. On top of that, I even roll directly into one of the blasts, causing me to faint. Can't if win I them all. If I truly could see this happening, why would I be dodging in the wrong direction? And why after 4,500 kills would I make the mistake to roll directly into one of them at a low health and faint? Finally, at the end of the hunt, I managed to topple the monster. But because I can't see him, I don't know which way he's facing immediately. In fact, I even start moving towards the wrong end of the monster and literally stand still while he's toppled. If I could see, I would have taken a clear headshot TCS, but I don't because I can't directly pinpoint the head because he's making less noise and I end up getting a sloppy body shot to end the hunt. And that kind of makes sense. Have you ever seen me? fight this monster yeah that makes sense because in the other video she waited for him to make noise before she went in a certain direction with my eyes open you can easily see that i would never have made such terrible errors if you're going to cherry pick all of my successes at least be thorough enough in your analysis to cherry pick my mistakes for my final thoughts i understand that this is the internet and with such controversies and varying opinions, everyone will have their own. No matter what points I try to make to exonerate myself and prove my legitimacy, there will always be dissenting opinions and refuse to believe me. Yeah, there's always going to be somebody that comes up with a reason because like, people just don't like to admit that they're wrong. To my community, please don't fight hatred with hatred. Be better. My every hope in playing this game has always been to bring the communities together both new players and veteran players alike, so that we can all partake in the surging popularity that Monster Hunter has enjoyed this past several months as we await Monster Hunter Wilds. I'm so very appreciative of Asmongold's contribution to that surge Aww. and for his initial praise. I did do it blindfolded, and here was me doing it again. I hope you stay passionate about Monster Hunter the way all of us are, and if you ever want help fighting Alatrion, you know where to find me. Wow. There it is. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so glad this happened. I am. This is so fucking funny to me. This is absolutely fucking hilarious. It's like she does the video and it's like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I can kind of. I could see kind of how this could make sense, etc. Right? In terms of like, oh yeah, maybe she faked it. Who knows? Right? I'm not like an expert. And I uh, watched the video. It's like, yeah, maybe you're right. Then she comes back. I was so much hoping that this would be the case because it's just so fucking funny, man. Yeah. Now, obviously, like, there's somebody, there's this one guy in chat who's like, for the whole video, he's been going in. Thank you for watching. Of course, absolutely. Let me link you guys this video. Like, give it a like. This is fucking hilarious. This is so fucking funny. <laughs> there it is, guys. There's the video. Oh my god. Good stuff. Yeah, this is insane. Yeah, she's in chat. Queen pawns a lot. There you go. Apparently, holy fucking shit. This is oh, it's just so fucking funny to me. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking hilarious. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altrion blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. And the video debunking it was completely fucking wrong.